Hi. If you live in a country like mine, you have to swap tires in the winter and in the summer. Now it's time to put on uh, summer tires. So you may um, you may want to do it yourself. And um, if you have TPMS sensors, the sensors that detect the amount of pressure in the tire, if you have those electronics uh, on your car, then you need to reprogram or retrain your car to learn which tire is where. One thing you should need to know is that when you're done with the procedure, you will have to put some air back in the tire, so make sure you have a pump handy. This procedure that I'm going to show you doesn't require you to have this special tool. All you need to do is press a few buttons on the car and uh, go around your car with uh, a key to deflate the tires and uh, the car will detect uh, which tire is which. The order in which the tires have to be deflated is the front left, front right, rear right and rear left finally. Let's go and try that. Okay so there are two methods I'm going to show you one of them. Um, the other one implies pressing this button a few times um, but I'm going to show you the other one that is much more simpler. So all you have to do is without uh, the brake being depressed you turn on the accessory mode and then you press and release this three times. Then you hear a onk and then you see a message that says train left front tire. You have about a minute to complete this operation and now what you have to do is release some air from the tire one by one until the horn honks again. Then you proceed to the other tire and so on until you've done all the four of them. Of course, you're going to need to refill the tire with air after you're done. But at least you don't need that special tool that costs an arm and a leg. <clears throat> and the last one. Some of them may take quite a while before honking. It needs to detect uh, change of pressure to uh, identify it's the proper one and now it says training complete all right now I'm going to pull out my pump and put some air back in the tires as you can see I left one tire deflated a bit and you can see it's identified correctly. I really hope this was helpful to anyone. If you like this video, press the like button. Thanks for watching.